Hey guys, so this video has been long overdue. First, I'm going to change the seat. So now I have Berkupina, uh, the normal version on, and I just got it yesterday. So Berk short with gold Berk logo. Uh, hopefully you can see it. So I'm gonna change the seat and then we're going to talk about the niche Legends 4 frame, bike, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so I changed the seat. This is how the bike is going to look like. Everything that we already talked about the bike, so with the two other guys that tried it, I wanted to get some more test bunnies on the bike, but yeah, nobody showed up. So yeah, hopefully in the coming weeks, um, anybody that wants to try the bike can comment in, the, in this video below, how does it ride? It's etc. So, but let's just get to it. I wanted to test all sorts of bikes that I weren't able to in, let's say, the past 15 years. So, right now I rode Pinarillos for yeah, 15 years and then I wanted to really test out the BMC bikes and I also wanted to ride the, the Colnago. Any other company, to be honest, I didn't have any interest of riding or te test it because they do not appeal to me um, yeah, and I don't want to ride a bike that's not, uh, let's say, appealing, visibly attracted to, to what I like. So then I started thinking, what about the new Asian companies that are coming out, um, crazy new products. Yeah, a lot of products are really good. They're not as bad as I uh, thought they would be, thought they would be. So then I came across of, of this bike brand, which a uh, team from Singapore that we sponsor with our helmets and sunglasses, also with our socks. Um, yeah, they said that I need to check them out and yeah, communication with the team, it's really great, they're really responsive, so I don't have it, anything bad to say about it. Now, regarding the bike, you already know, it's not the best race bike that we tested, but in all honesty, a lot of you guys don't even want the best race bike on the market. Uh, sorry about that. So yeah, uh, a lot of you guys won't even uh, like the hardest, the stiffest bike there is on the market. So you probably want a little bit more comfortable bike, but with that comfort, it comes at a price. So no bike that's comfortable will ride the best on the climb, uh, won't have the best acceleration, etc. But uh, yeah, those differences are really small and also the heavier the rider, more you feel those differences. For some of you guys that are, I don't know, 60 kilos or ladies even less heavy, uh, yeah, those differences won't be as visible as, uh, yeah, you won't feel them as much as some of us that are around 90 kilograms uh, heavy. So yeah, that's just uh, one thing. So. Um, regarding the bike, uh, why I decided that we will uh, have them in our offer is, to be honest, mostly because of the communication and we want to have a brand that looks good, rides good and is suitable for a lot of cyclists because in my opinion the BMC uh, Team Machine Air, the, probably the new Dogma F uh, and some of the bikes that are coming out right now with slimmer handlebar at the top, 
um, wider at the bottom is not suitable for anyone that isn't racing because it pushes you in that race position and it's yeah that position is not the best for let's say 80 to 90 percent riders that's just my opinion but you guys can figure it out now what i've seen so with niche and also with the uh, uh, the Elves that I tested so this comes just this bike is somewhere in between uh, so the Elves Vanyar and the Elves uh, Falat because Falat was in my opinion was really comfortable and Vanyar was really stiff so this is just like in between somewhere um, but if I had to put it in a category I would put it more next to Vanyar than to Falat um, so and a lot of things that are on the bike are also really similar to to Vanyar so the top tube the rear triangle the seat uh, the seat post and also the handlebar um, yeah almost completely the same also the front fork is is similar so yeah asian uh, market i guess uh, uh, they make subtle differences uh, with one frame to another and then yeah the customer decides what what they want to buy um, approved prosim yeah per telefon okay ciao Um, so yeah, there are a lot of things that are similar, I guess, to Asian brands. Also the cages for the water bottles. I like the frame. Um, I think it rides good. And in my opinion, the what I like the most is we can get it. Uh, the colors are really nice. Um, so everybody that wants to have a good bike that doesn't cost a lot, uh, still this bike with um, Shimano 102 uh, electronic group set but with these wheels that cost around 2000 euro will come at 4500 euro so yeah it, it's not the cheapest but it's still far from uh, expensive so yeah if you want this kind of bike let me know uh, we're ordering them by the end of this week and for everybody that's going to order a bike in the next couple of days we will get 10% discount on our website prices so this is a promo offer for anybody that wants a cool looking bike and yeah wants to join our uh, culture approved cycling culture so yeah and you also get the free uh, subscription free annual subscription with the order um, so yeah that's pretty much it so regarding the bike my final thought um, it's comfortable it's also suitable for some uh, let's say recreational races marathons stuff like that don't expect it to be as stiff as some of the new bikes like dogma f bmc team machine air uh, and some aero bikes out there uh, it is not but it's on the other hand it's more comfortable i have it set up with tubeless tires and yeah it rides really good in my opinion yeah i would still wanted it to be a little bit stiffer but then I think it would be too stiff, especially for longer rides, let's say two hours and above, because uh, you would feel every little uh, detail from the road. So, yeah, if I would have to put some uh, scores on the bike, like we did with uh, previous bikes, um, this is just from the top of my head, but it's really similar to Pinarello F5 and Colnago V4 RS um, so regarding the weight it's better than the F5 and it's a little bit worse than V4 RS regarding the ride regarding the comfort yeah it's pretty similar than V4 RS 
Regarding the descents, I think the F5 is still better in my opinion, but I think it's better than the V4 RS. Regarding the climbing, it's better than the F5, but a little bit worse than uh, V4 RS, maybe because of the weight. But yeah, other than that, it's, yeah, it's in that ballpark, even the carbon. It's one better than the Pinarello F5, which uses T700. This one has T800 from Torai. I would give it in, in that ballpark and once you see all the details, everything about the bike, you see that the price of 4,000, I think it's around 4,800 4, euro. It's not as much when you get so 105 di2 then you get the integrated handlebar and you also get the wheels that cost around 2000 euro so if yeah if you want a cheaper wheel or without the wheels that price comes down quite a lot so yeah if you have any questions anything that you want to ask regarding this bike we can deliver it everywhere so yeah just uh, send us an email and yeah we can go from there or whatsapp uh, we're almost 24 7 available so yeah we will try to reply uh, as soon as possible uh, so the score descending i would give it like a 7.5 climbing i would give it like a 7 um, acceleration or or let's say more comfort i would give it an eight and is there a fourth one uh -huh, looks looks wise i love it uh yeah i assembled it so yeah the the way it's set up right now in my opinion it's like a nine uh so yeah, you could still get it you would you could still get it that it looks a little bit better but Regarding how the frame is, everything is with uh, not a lot of logos, just one big sign and a little logo on the front. Yeah, I, I love it. Also the wheels, I think everything just matches up nicely. So yeah, so if I calculate everything, that's 13 and a half. So 21 and a half and nine. So that's 30. 0.5 from 40 that it's possible so yeah that's pretty much it for this video don't be scared to contact us regarding the bike any gear that we sell uh, we're more than happy to to help and yeah that's pretty much it so stay tuned and let's ride Yeah.